Well, boys and girls, we've been in Switzerland less than a year. We started the season with 17 players and we've now won the league, won the cup, won the double and broken the playoff curse. And now we're finally going to do our first full transfer window as we look to attack the Champions League because we're straight through to the league stage. No need to worry about qualifying this year. We're, we're a big boy team now. But how much do you think we've got for budget then, boys and girls? I would love 35 million. How much money do you get to be in the Champions League? Like 10 million would be amazing. I suspect we'll get like 2 million. It's Switzerland. But there must be a lot of money for being in the Champions League, surely. Excuse me. Didier, I'm sorry. I feel I feel like you've made a terrible error. What on earth can you possibly mean? A transfer budget of 544,000. We're not in League 2. We're in the Champions League. What the actual hell? I mean, what am I supposed to do with that? You're nearly a million pounds in debt. Exactly. We're only nearly a million pounds in debt. We're in the Champions League. <laughs> the club has a total debt of just over a million pounds. We're in the Champions League. Well, it'll just be all the more impressive when we put together a super team. I guess the way to put the positive spin on this is we have just won the double with this squad. So, you know, how much more money do we need? Signing of the season is Habib Agune, who we signed from Manchester United, I believe. No, I mean, that would wipe out West's entire budget. I mean, we did spend well over half a million this season, just gone. But there you go, that's us winning the league. Not even coming close to selling out the ground. We had some big wins, everyone's happy. This probably explains why they're not giving me any money to spend, because currently there's not much money knocking around the club. Obviously, this is all going to change. So next summer, I'll get a load of money to spend once we've got some Champions League money in, but not right now. It seems we have to be patient. There's your team of the year, and there's your rewards, and there's the dynamic timeline! And that's all that. So we've got loads more social media followers, which is obviously what life is all about. It's all about social media followers. So they want me to reach the Champions League proper, which my understanding is we've already qualified for. I'm now triple-checking. One team qualifies for the Champions League group stage. Yeah, that's surely us for winning the league. Unless there's one more hoop we've got to jump through. So they want us to get to the Champions League group stage, which we've already done, and finish mid-table in the league. We are current champions. I think we'll probably be fine. We'll accept that. And tell the boys we're going to finish mid We've just won the double. Hey, lads, lads. Hey, lads, lads. Hey, lads. We're going to finish mid-table next year. And they're all happy with it. What a weird game this is. What a strange little computer game Football Manager can be at times. Goodness me. Right, let's just get through to the 1st of July, I guess. At least we can take our time a little bit with transfers this summer because we don't have to rush to get ready for European qualification. And we have got quite a nice bit of spare wage budget. And hopefully we'll have the pull of being a Champions League club, which could be a double-edged sword. Derek Kutesa has left. That's a bit of a shame. He was quite good. That one kind of slipped un slipped under me without me realising it was happening. Right, Fiddly Burns is in, everybody. There he is, look. Delighted to be here, as you can imagine. Welcome to Switzerland, Finley Burns. Send them all to learn French. Send them all to learn Italian. And we've also got Belal Bafdili, who is our Stevanovic replacement, who's not actually very good, which is a little bit of a shame. That one might be a bit of a miss. And oh, my word, this guy's rubbish. He is only third choice, though. But what a waste of a non-EU spot. I might not register him because he's so rubbish. 
and might just send him immediately down into the C team. In light of what we learned before, the way once you register someone, they're registered for the season and you can't unregister them and give their spot to somebody else. That would waste a non-EU spot. Let's just make sure we've not given one to him. No, you're... Oh, hold on. Is he... How is he EU? Because he's also got Irish as a second nationality. Well, there you go. It doesn't matter. Come back up into the first team squad, young man. There we go. Right, it is the 1st of July. And this is how our squad is looking. So we've got two goalkeepers. Probably need another one of those. Then defenders. He's not really a left back. He's not really a left back. So we've got one left back. Two right backs, but one of them's injured, but not for very long. So we're good there. At centre back, we've got those four are all pretty good. And he can cover in a couple of areas. So we're actually pretty solid at centre back. Centre mid, we've got, I mean, he doesn't really play there. Neither does he. He probably will. He doesn't. He has done from time to time, and he's probably a bit too young. So we've got just about four in centre mid. And then attacking midfielder, uh, it's all about Antunes and McAtee. So we're pretty well covered there. We could maybe do with one more. He doesn't really play on the left. Fafana, of course, we know is better than Vinicius Jr. We learned that at the end of last season. So we need probably a couple of wide players. And then I think we probably need a striker because he's not, he's not. Yeah, we need a couple of strikers. So we need to strengthen the attack. We need another goalkeeper, a left back, and then strengthen the attack. So let's see. Let's see what we got. Oh, I mean, Livakovic would be a lovely signing. He's only 32 still. If we could get Livakovic in, I think that sends a, a positive message. Poor old Frick. He might be done. These are all going to be too expensive, aren't they? I'm looking at these names and I'm recognising a lot of them and realising they're all going to be too expensive for us. There's no way we're getting the, this calibre of player. Right, let's get him in on trial. How sad. Oh, lots of these are not coming to us. Yeah, we might be doing a second sweep very quickly because a lot of these are not coming here. Oh, no. Didn't... That's several of them are going to Leon. Oh, good. Kennedy's coming in on trial. He's the one I really wanted. I mean, even the ones that have turned up who aren't very good are brilliant compared to what we've got at the moment. If we get the cream of the Swiss crop, we're not even going to bother. The cream of the Swiss crop is not very creamy, I don't think. I like them creamy. Oh, this is not inspiring me at all. Elliot Anderson, I think we'll try for. Oh, this guy's from Spurs. Oh, no. Watch him want something ridiculous. Yeah. See, that is absurd. I just don't think there's any way we sign him for that kind of money. I don't know that we should be signing him for that kind of money. Let's try for the other guy. This might be another, another tough summer. Oh, no. Oh, dear me. Right, get rid of that. That can stay on, but we're getting rid of that. <sighs> That's going to take up most of our transfer budget, paying this guy a signing on fee. Is he even worth it? I mean, he plays in the same position as our current best player. I don't think that. I don't think he's worth it. We've got two very good players there. We're withdrawing. Right, we're not even going to bother taking the ones who are over thirty on trial because I'm just never going to sign them. I'm just not even going to consider them at that age. We are not interested in old men. This is not a retirement home. So we want the younger ones. So everywhere from him down. Let's try again. Uh, so much fun doing this. I'm so glad we have to do this. I agree that it would ruin the game if we could just do this all in one button click. 
it would completely take me out of it. Oh, there's Calvin Ramsey. What do you know? What do you know? He can come in. We know he's Premier League quality. Dia Maboob. That's a good name as well. Right, squad planner, do your thing again. So now we're going to have to go through and take out the trialists we had before. Who, I think it's probably just him. Oh, okay. He's disappeared. He's there again. Get out of here, Lukinia. Remove from shortlist. Get him gone from here. Right, so... Up front, this is more like it. Ilyas Husni. Not really my kind of striker. It's slow. Who wants him? Grasshopper. So potentially a realistic signing for us as well, based on who else is in for him. Don't really want an old man. He's not even an out-and-out -out striker, and he's a winger. So if we want a striker, it's got to be this guy. We're going to come back to striker. Right wing... We do need someone because Fafana is left, isn't he? So Fafana is left and we don't really have anyone for right at all. So we need at least one. Um, Alvaro Martin is a left winger. So we'll come back to him. He's 29, which doesn't really excite me. Daya Mebu Mebud. Off of Manchester City. He is non-EU. How many of them have we got now? One, two, three, four. So we've got room for six non-EU players. So let's offer him a contract as our new right winger. Get rid of all this. And try and knock this down a bit. Yeeks! Right, we're going to go for Husni anyway, because he's French. I believe French is in the EU. French. France is in the EU! So we can offer this guy a contract. Because he is off of French. Which is a country. There we go. Ugh. We certainly need another striker, so I'm not against throwing a bit of money around here. Okay, so that's French boy. That covers us. Left wing, up front, right wing. In two players. We might come back and look at him in a minute because he can play both wings. We Calvin Ramsey, we know is either footed. So Calvin Ramsey feels like a no-brainer. So he can cover both sides and we know he's good. And he delivers a lovely corner and he's really expensive and we can't afford him. Fantastic. That's us done. We've, we've got two players and we're done. Oh, wow. Welcome to Swiss Switzerland. So Calvin Ramsey. Hooray. Loans from Porto. I mean, we'll try eventually. We didn't. They all turned us down last year. But we might actually get some this year with us being in the Champions League. I guess there's a chance. We're only allowed three of those, though, if I recall. Oh, we're absolutely not getting this guy. We may as well just withdraw. Because there's... Unless he want, really wants to play in the Champions League, I guess. There's presumably neither Fulham or Norwich are in the Champions League. But I suspect Fulham and Norwich are both offering him a lot more money and the lure of the Premier League. Although they're both in the Championship. Oh, they, we might have a chance. Preston want Ramsey. I feel like that's a move that might work out. Ironically as well, in non-Needs Legend, we signed him for Preston from QPR. Seems like it's the same old clubs go after the players. Sheffield United want him. We might not be getting any of these. As a Romania expert, I'd love any sentence that starts like that. As a Romania expert, we used to be part of the EU without being able to work within the EU. By not being part of the EEA. Well, there you go. I don't know what most of that means, but keep the experts on Romania coming. Oh, we didn't get Me Mebood. He's gone to Sheffield United. So I guess we can now 
try enough of oh have they already left fantastic oh no right well he comes off the shortlist tell me we're gonna get one of them or we're gonna have to start again we are now the 9th of july we are back to square one and we've signed no players We try again. There is no money and we have no pull at all. Cl players are going to the championship rather than coming to play for us in the Champions League. I would like it on record as well. I really like the squad planner now. I actually think it's really good now they've fixed it to include trialists. It's excellent. Round of applause for the squad planner. I might just sign him because someone mentioned him before, so that means he must be good. Forget the positions we need to strengthen, just sign the best young players. Uruguay, do you have a second nationality? You do not. Use the squad planner once, never use it again. You should give it another try now, it's fixed. It works really well now. Sounds like the local newspaper. The Montevideo City Talk. It's like the, it sounds like it should be the local... Um, advertising leaflet or the Facebook group you seeing what's on City Talk All right, let's offer him a contract then and offer this guy a contract because he's French oh that's ridiculous why do you keep coming here on trial you must be able to tell from the chatter around the canteen at lunchtime that no one's on the kind of money you've just suggested you must know that it's ridiculous that you're even here for a second time. Just leave. Right, so we're going to try for Alvaro Martin. I mean, this this is so silly. Get this all gone. Right, so we've gone for a striker, a winger who can play both wings, and attack in midfield, so that's quite handy. Akos is uh, second favourite to be top scorer. Who have we got in the Dream 11? See how good this team is compared to all these other rascals. Uh, so we we have two. Vulaz and Norton Cuffey are both in the Dream 11. I think that says a lot about the quality of the Swiss League. That Brooke Norton Cuffey is in the media Dream 11. Uh, yeah, okay. We might need to lower the targets. We're only the fifth best team in this league according to that. We've probably only got about a week left before the season starts. When does the season start? We have got like two weeks until the season starts. We have so far signed nobody. We are s we can't even afford him. Oh, okay. It's just because we moved transfer budgets around. Okay. All right. We need a winger. So we are going to adjust the budget. And Alvaro Martin is in. Teach him French. Teach him Italian. Teach him all the talking. Learn to talk all the ways. Left winger, who can also play centre mid, can play right wing, can play attacking midfield, he can play anywhere in that midfield that we do. And he's better than everyone that we've got in all of those positions. So that is pretty useful. Fafana, you're going to play on the opposite side to him, so you need not worry at all. We're going to have you on one wing, him on the other. You're better than Vinicius Jr., remember? How quickly you forget. That's a signing. Not only is he straight in the Dream 11, he's the best player in Switzerland. Whew. 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 Well, there you go. And the icing on the cake, he knocked Winks out of the Dream 11. Perfect. Oh, and we're going to get Guerrero as well, who we definitely needed because we needed another striker. So adjust again. We're getting some attackers in. So he is a striker who can also play on the right wing. Nice and quick-ish. As good as Martin on the right wing. And up front, almost as good as Akos. Does he go into the Dream 11? Probably not. No, but uh, he's probably not a million miles away. There you go, we've moved up to fourth in the league now off the back of those two signings. That's strengthened the squad a little bit. 
but we've not got the fullback we were trying to sign. And we are now pretty much spent up. So two players, and that's all the budget gone. And they're now the two highest paid players at the club as well. Oh, the board will not extend my contract. Excellent. I would love a new contract. Maybe I could move out of the Ramada finally. I'm currently on £2,400 a week. Are they about to show Emily how it's done? By just offering me real money. I might do the, uh, I might allow the Coys one, but it'll be a uh, tier three one to make Chris put his hand in his pocket to be able to use it. <laughs> so five, I'm allowed five tier two and five tier three emotes. Right, negotiation time. Give me more money, please. I mean, you're already doing a better job than Emlyn. This is quality negotiating. I mean, you are digging your heels in a bit now. 3.1k, that was a solid pay rise. Beautiful stuff. Chapman signs new deal. Yes, he does. He's just that kind of guy. <laughs> Who's this? Aurelian Nicola. Oh, hello, backup goalkeeper. Well, yeah. Little tip for you all. Check the dev center. What else have we got in here? Oh, hello. A 10 million pound player. And six million. Oh, right, okay. Well, then. Let's move both of you into the senior squad. We now have a backup goalkeeper, which is nice, in Nicolet. Gatford is in the first team squad. He, he's, got, he's got 10 for tackling. He's a left winger with 10 for tackling. Let's play. What do you think is about to happen? He is a six foot four left winger with 10 for tackling, and we need a left back. Let's play what's about to happen, everybody. Left back for life. He's still very awkward in his new position. I mean, to be fair, Abigail, thanks for your input. He has only been training in it about nine hours. So, you know, that's fine. <laughs> the fact that he's gone from nothing to makeshift in nine hours is pretty impressive. I keep forgetting we got him and Finley Burns. When I talk about only making two signings this summer, we've actually signed Baff Dilly, who's just come in, who admittedly is not great, but Finley Burns, Alvaro Martin, Guerrero, plus Winchins came in as well. So he's third off the next gen list. And we've got a defender from Manchester City, the best player in the league, and a backup striker who's been scoring almost double figures for years in Uruguay. 